Hi, I'm Rachel Rainey with the Western Institute for Healthy Love. Today, I would like to talk about the components of love and how we can practice these concepts to achieve closer relationships. Respect. We all want it. How do we get it? By giving. When we give due respect, we will notice that we receive respect in kind. If we approach our relationships with mutual respect, the trial and error involved in showing love will be much more effective. What does respect even mean? Respect means to have esteem for the worth of a person, regard or consideration for someone, to refrain from interfering with a person's rights as a human. Okay. So how do we apply this definition to our daily lives? In face-to-face -face interactions with those we love, we respect that person by allowing them to finish their own sentences, praising their ideas and efforts, by not always having to be right, by listening to their ideas and accepting them as valid, even if you don't agree. For example, your partner tells you that she wants to start taking ukulele lessons. Maybe your first instinct is to dismiss this newfound passion as silly. But if you are showing respect for your partner, you will listen to her motives and desires. You may learn something that you didn't know about her. By supporting her to try new things without naysaying, you are showing respect. Face-to-face -face is one thing, but what about when we are not present with the one we love? If we talk about our partner to others critically, we are disrespecting them. Furthermore, our feelings follow our thoughts. And if we speak negatively to others about our partner, inevitably, we will start to have negative feelings about them. So, if talking about your partner behind her back is disrespect, how do we flip it around to show respect? Try this little exercise. Next time you're about to say something negative about your partner, like, oh, he never takes out the trash, and he's always working, and we never have time together, think. What is the opposite of this negative thought? Say that instead. Oh, he always does a great job fixing stuff up around the house, and he is such a wonderful provider for our family. Replace the disrespect with respect. It works twofold. Inside of us, we will create a place that honors our partner and our audience will now have some respect for our partner as well. That will end up coming back to him and will help grow your relationship towards a more respectful union. If you would like any more tips or ideas on bringing more respect into your relationships, please feel free to reach out to me for a consultation at www.thewill.com. www.thewill.com.